But joining us now, not a new face. This is Isaiah Roby, who was on the team last year. Isaiah, welcome in. How are you feeling? This is media day, day one. How are you feeling right now? I'm feeling great. Thanks for having me. How was your off season through? I mean, you had a pretty, pretty busy off season. First things first, you graduated from Nebraska. How was that like for you? What was that emotion gra gra getting that degree? It was big. Um, you know, it, that was something that, you know, growing up, I always wanted to do. I always wanted to get my degree. Neither of my parents had it. And, you know, they always pushed me and my brothers to all pursue that and, you know, to complete it. So even when I got drafted, you know, that was also always something that I was going to, uh, to finish. You know, I didn't know exactly when, but I'm glad I did it as soon as I did. Isaiah, you also, I'm sure, got to, to go back to your hometown of Dixon. You know, coming off of a season where you started more than half of your games, being the first player to ever be drafted in the NBA from your hometown, what was that like to, to kind of come home as, as the crown prince? Yeah, it was cool. <laughs> um, it's funny because, you know, our high, our high school uh, mascot is the Dukes. So, like, okay. we actually have one of our uh, strength coaches. He's from a, a nearby town, and he's been calling me uh, Duke a lot lately. So <laughs> he said Prince. That's kind of funny. But um, it was good, you know, um, being able to go back home, see my friends and family, like, you know, and people that I just grew up around. Uh, I got to go back home and see my, my little brother graduate high school. So, like, I got to see old teachers and coaches and whatnot. So um, it's always good to go back home and see where you came from and, uh, you know, kind of see, you know, your, where your humble beginning started. And, you know, uh, so I always like going back home. Isaiah, you did log a ton of games last year, which is a stark contrast to your technically your rookie year, which was two years ago. So last year, in a lot of ways, had to feel like a rookie year for you. And, and this would be essentially year two from an experience standpoint, correct? Right. Yeah, 100 um, percent, which is kind of weird now that we have a bunch of guys that are 18, 19 and I'm 23 and I'm kind of looked at as an older guy on this team because, like you said, like last year was my first real um, you know, experience. And this year is going to feel even different because last year kind of felt like we were almost playing scrimmages in an NBA arena, whereas now, you know, we're going to have fans in here going crazy. And um, so I'm looking forward to, you know, to uh, getting back out there. Yeah, just tell us about sort of the eagerness to get all of these people back in this building. And, you know, you, you felt the support of Thunder fans over the last year or so, but it's going to be a completely different deal when they're actually here for you. For sure. Um, I mean, even just interacting with people out in the public in Oklahoma City and, you know, just the surrounding areas, like everybody's just like, you know, we're excited to get in there. Uh, we have the best home court advantage. And uh, I've heard that from not only – uh, the fans here, but also my teammates and guys who had played here on, when they're on other teams. So I'm just looking forward to it. It's going to be, you know, this, this, the, the the fake crowd noise can't compare. You know, you, you you can't really feel the crowd like you do when you have a you know a real a real uh, arena full of people. Well, we got to see a lot of your game last year, and you talked about the experience that you were able to get. What were some of those biggest lessons that you were you took from that experience last year that you want to kind of build on in this upcoming season? Um, for sure. I mean, like you said, we had a lot of experiences. We had a, um, a, a good start to the season, I would say. We were playing really well. And, you know, obviously it's a long NBA season. Some injuries happen, trades happen, whatnot. But um, I think a, a lot of experiences were earned. And one thing I learned is to, it's a long season. You know, 82 games, um, it's a lot of games, a lot of travel on your body. you got to be able to, to rest. And, um, you know, I know early on in the season we were – when I was, you know, I wasn't playing the best. I kind of had some up and down games, and I would, you know, kind of take it out of myself. And I would be watching film until three in the morning, and not getting sleep for the next day. I have, I had a game the next day, and, um, you know, I had some older teammates, some veteran guys, tell me like, you know, that's not good for you if you're, if you're getting four hours of sleep because you're, you're procrastinating, and you're thinking about what you did wrong or whatnot. Um, you know, you're not gonna be able to perform to your the best of your ability. So, just little things like that, like just learning how to navigate through the NBA world is. Um, you know, I, that's the, probably the biggest thing I took from last year. And you were taking some classes on the side, trying to get that degree. That was a good article about <laughs> taking that test and then having to guard Jokic on the same day, huh? Rough that was day a tough for day. you. Yeah, that was a tough day. Um, you know, the test, the test did not compare uh, to, to guarding Jokic. But, um, you know, again, like stuff like that even, being able to not have to worry about, take, you know, finishing the game and then on the, on the flight taking a test also or stuff like that, like, um, you know, that would be good. I'll get a little bit more sleep this year. Well, Isaiah, you know, you're just fitting in with the, the style of play with, that this team wants to, to be a part of moving forward. And I know you fit in seamlessly with all your teammates, too. So enjoy the rest of your, your media day. Have a great time uh, getting the band back together. We call it the first day of school. So uh, thanks for joining us and have fun. I like it. Thanks, I appreciate Isaiah. it, guys. Thank you. Thank you, Isaiah. That was Isaiah Roby joining us here on the live stream.